Hey everyone, Pastor Ken here from Wall and Paw Pack Church. So as I'm sitting around and thinking about ways that we can be the church, one of the things that I really love doing for people in our church is to send them notes. And I think that's a really great way for us to be the church. There's this amazing story in Acts chapter 4 where this man named Joseph becomes a part of the apostles, becomes a part of the early church. But instead of calling them Joseph, calling him Joseph, the apostles end up giving him a nickname, and that nickname is Barnabas, which is the name that most of us know him by. But Barnabas actually means son of encouragement. This person was so intent on encouraging other people that instead of calling him by his normal name, his given name, they decided to nickname him after something that he did. And what an incredible thing that is, if we're known for our encouragement. And so as the church, we should be known for our encouragement. People that give joy and life and light to other people. And so what, so what I want to do right now is to teach you some basics about how to write a word of encouragement or how to write a note of encouragement. This is something you can do. It will take five minutes. You can pop it in an envelope and send it to somebody. And so I want you to think of somebody in your life or in your mind that might need some encouragement. And then you're going to grab a little card. It can be special stationery. If you don't have stationery, Email me at revkenplatt at gmail.com with your address. I'll send you a couple note cards so that you can be an encouragement to people. Um, but these are the, these are the note cards that I use. Uh, but you can use anything. You could use a, a piece of notebook paper, drop it in an envelope, whatever. But this is, here's some, here's some tips about how to write a note of encouragement. First, address it to the person. But second, when you start it, say, I hope or that I pray. And write down a hope that you have for this person. Write down a prayer that you have for this person. I pray that you are finding peace during this time of craziness. I pray that you will feel God's comfort. I hope that you will know that you are cared for. Start out with a hope statement or a prayer statement. Second, so that's the first thing. Start out with a hope or a prayer statement. Second, tell that person something that you appreciate about them. I appreciate how you are such a great parent because the kids need a good parent like you. Or I appreciate how you do this because it's important because of this. So second is recognize something about that person and tell them why it's important. Third is thank them for being who they are. Thank them for being such a good friend. Thank you for being such a good parent. Thank them for being such a, a great person in your life. And then just wrap it up with thinking of you, praying for you, love, sincerely, uh, best regards, best wishes, whatever, and then sign your name. I mean, that's all it is. That's 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 my formula for writing notes. And so if you've ever received a note from me, you know, you can go back and, I mean, if you saved it, if it was that important to you, go back and look at my formula. I, that is the formula that I use every time that I write of a note of encouragement. Um, and I use that because it just covers all the bases. So there it is. First, again, um, the prayer that you have for the person. Second, recognize something about them and why it's important. Third, thank them for being who they are. And then just say sincerely, that's it. So that's how you can be the church today. Go try it out. Take five minutes. Make it happen. Um, my kids did it this morning uh, with their grandparents. And so I encourage you to do that with somebody in your life. God bless you guys. And we'll talk to you soon.